What's up guys, welcome back to video number Nintendo 64, and you guys are all legends for making it this far. Okay, so in the last video we talked about the name attribute that goes right here inside our input tags, input tags, which is this little thing right here, this little button. So, let's go ahead and do something with it. Let's create form validation to only submit that page if it has been submitted. And that's what we did in this last video. We created this thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up on top of this edit underscore info dot PHP page. And let's go ahead and create an if statement underneath our find underscore selected underscore age underscore everything else in the world right here. So let's drop down a little bit. Let's go ahead and create some PHP tags. I'm going to drop these down a lot because our form validation is going to go in here. And just so we utilize what we did in the last video, let's go ahead and create an if statement. So we'll say if this is set, I'm going to use post because we're collecting um, values in a form. Have we even talked about the difference between post and get yet? I mean, they both collect values in a form, but get, when we use get, when we're transferring data to data, it shows up in the URL. So if you're ever using like a password or something, if you're sending like a password to your database, never use get, never use post. So onward and upward. And what did we call this? Looks like I'm missing, nope. What did we call this? We need embraces and we call it submit. I don't know why I can't spell the word submit. And let's see if I spelled it right down here. I think I did spell it right because I think it would have, um, I think text made a spell check on it. Let's check. Nope. I definitely could have spelled it wrong. I'm about to get outside of our PHP tags. Yeah, it does have. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, submit. I spelled it right. I think so. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and check to see if this has been set. Then let's execute our form validation. And we're going to have to drop these down again. Actually, I'm going to pull this closing PHP tag up and we'll drop them down together. And let's just create a little uh, comment off to the side, let you know what we're doing. So if this is set, we're going to run our form validation. So if set, we'll run form validation. And I'm not going to do an if else statement because if it's not set, nothing's going to happen. It's just, we're just still going to be on this page and nothing will happen. Nothing will go to the database. So what we need to do is track down our form validation, which I believe was on our create underscore info dot PHP page. Let's open this up and let's grab all of this stuff right here. Everything from errors down to, I don't think, I don't need the the, the relocating um, PHP function that we created, just this right here. And let's go ahead and paste it right in here. Now let me look at this. Okay, let's bring this up a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna pause the video to correct myself. Just stay where you are, don't do anything. Everything looks perfect so far. So if you need to pause your video and look at this, uh, all we did was drag this over, but we did not include that. So we need something else. We need our MySQL prep stuff because we're going to be um, doing SQL in the next video. So let's get ready for that. And that stuff is right here. Let's grab that. And let's plug it in after this curly brace, but before this curly brace. And now let's look at this. Okay, so we're almost there. There's just one more thing we need to do, and that's create one more last variable because we're still updating to our database. So I'm gonna go ahead and create the variable and we'll call it ID equals my SQL underscore prep. We could just copy and paste. We're using the same PHP function right there. Let's go ahead and give it its argument, and we use the get variable now because we're not dealing with super top secret information we can run this through the browser so again get the difference between get and post is get the data will go through there we'll see like a question mark all this equals all this hoopla that means it got transferred through the super global variable of get not post so we can use get right now 
Capiche? Okay, so what we're going to be using is info. And let's close that out and let's save that. And uh, I think that's all I want to do for this video. This was a this was a uh, this had a lot going on in this video. Hopefully that you guys are following along. And if you guys have any questions, always feel for, feel free to ask me. And uh, you know I love hearing the feedback, the comments, all the hoopla. So uh, good luck with this. I'll see you guys in the next video.